Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Welcome to Catalyst Erwin and this is the world tour of, well I've been working on this world for about seven years now. Um, a lot of stuff has gone into it and a lot of things have changed over time. This was done completely in survival and there's everything in here is completely detailed. Interiors, underground, um, I mean everything even has an address. Um, in a mailroom, all the people that live in here, um, they've got their own names. Um, it's a fully living, functioning city, and I am super excited to show you all kind of what this, uh, what this looks like and what this entails. So there's some really cool builds here. Um, everything's fully custom, like the mountain range over there. All the terrain has been edited over time, and I've put a ton of work into this pretty much steadily for about seven years. So... There's a lot to view, and this will be kind of a long episode, so um, yeah, sit back, relax, maybe grab a snack, um, something to drink, and enjoy the video. So let's go ahead and start where I started out at, and that was up on this hilltop, um, building this castle because I needed somewhere to stay. And it's not actually a castle, it's a keep. And in fact, it is Lavenhorn Keep, and it is here on... Uh, 800 Hilltop Avenue. Like I said, everything has an address. So let's go ahead and hop in here. Um, we'll go straight forward and we'll go into kind of the main hall. Um, some decent decorations in here. You've got kind of where the king sits up here. Um, and then just his, uh, I guess the knights, his um, advisors and everything sit in here during their meetings. And then if, uh, if he gets bored, you can run down through here, and there's a wine cellar, but I'm not going to go down in there. Um, got a nice fireplace in here, and then you can come in here to the armory um, and the map room. So we've got some armor and swords and stuff like that, and then maps here. This is an old map. This is before the cathedral was even fully built, so a lot has changed here. There's hardly anything, um, but just some cool old maps through here. Um, you come through this hallway and you can see the barracks so we've got kind of where they sleep at where they keep their clothes um, this room right here i actually just moved it it was my storage area um, but i just recently moved it so um, that's not there anymore over here to the right we have um, so this is the old enchanting area we don't use it anymore um, you can come back around here there's not much going on on this side um, just some back entrances to everything. We'll go ahead and go on up here, actually. So this is where the dungeon is. So this is called the second floor basement because it's on the second floor, but it looks like a basement. Um, there's all kinds of crazy things in here. So this is where they eat at. There's blood everywhere, not very comfy. Um, <laughs> oh, sorry, this is where they eat at. That's the morgue. <laughs> if they die, this is where they eat at. And their food is basically crumbs that come from the dining room up there. Um, <laughs> bath slash toilet. So, yeah, they can take a bath up there and it's a toilet. So not the most sanitary place. Um, they've got slabs here to sit on. Um, this is where they perform <laughs> at the stage um, for their theater performances. Um, shellac slab farm. So you can buy a slab and then it'll cost you your toes that's what you pay for with it that's the viewing area where they can come watch you um the toe extractor over here <laughs> there's all kinds of different random things that my brother put in here and uh this is where you actually sleep at like i said not the most uh comfy what's the sign say back here yeah stand lay sit instead of live laugh love it's stand lay sit because that's what they do um and then of course Please do not go in here. This is this is just an entrance to the wine cellar over here. <laughs> yeah, it's on by the honor system. You can escape that way. But and then if you climb to the top rank, um, you can enter into here, the Hall of Knowledge. And there is a ranking system. Um, where is that? Yeah, it's over here. So there's a prison ranking system that my brother implemented, and uh, you can see it here. The weekly ranking of <laughs> fortunate souls so right now it's shellac he's the owner of the slabs and runs the prison down here and uh you can kind of go through some of these they're they're quite interesting names to say the least <laughs> but um we'll go ahead and 
exit this area. Let's let's actually exit through over here. Um, I don't mind breaking this because I will uh, I'll put it back. Oh, I shouldn't have broke that. There was a sign on there. Eh, oh well. <laughs> so it comes down here to the other side of the first floor. And so this has my brewing area. Um, and then over here you have the uh, kind of the library, the hall of knowledge, and where I plan out my future projects. Um, and if you want to see all of these in depth, you can go into the actual series where I list all these episodes. Um, kind of in depth and you come up here to the third floor skips the second floor and this is where you have the uh, the other theater the uh, <laughs> Rayworth theater showing the the plays that they're doing um, and you have the tavern in here um, the uh, some of these rooms aren't done um, haven't done as much up here and this is the medical center um, <laughs> if you run out of room you have to get on the quadruple bunk bed and this is where they do the surgeries at not a great place. Um, you can come out here for a really nice view of the city. Um, right now for this tour, I have it on Peaceful. Um, normally I do not play on Peaceful. Um, but you can see a nice tour of the actual town down here. Uh, pretty nice looking at night. That is for sure. Um, let's go back into the, uh, the keep in here real quick. Um, we'll just run all the way back through here, all this stuff and head back down um, to the newly expanded area on the keep and that is just right through here so you come downstairs um, this area hasn't been done yet but you come all the way down through here <clears throat> and that goes to the sewers which I'll show you that in a little bit there's sewers that connect every single building um, my old wheat field and then you come up here to the new storage area. And so it's got a bigger area for all of my blocks. And it's got, a, of course, an automatic furnace system through here. Um, so it's pretty cool. And then this just leads out back to the cave that's back there. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. And then you can go to the bottom entrance of the, uh, the keep. So that's the keep just straight up there. And then this path takes you um, yeah, straight up to the keep right there. Okay, so kind of what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go in different segments of this uh, this area. So right now we'll kind of go down to the um, to the floor right here, to the floor area. So we'll, we'll head back here. So this is kind of my farming area. Um, a lot of new stuff over here. So we've got the pig farm, um, the sheep farm. <laughs> this place is all tore up because <laughs> I was moving villagers and I kept giving them random jobs. So Hork's Butcher Shop at 410 Country Road. <laughs> we've got the sheep farm back in here and then this is kind of a newer area so this is my uh i guess fields my gardens <laughs> and they connect all the way back here to the barn um nothing much in here just some cattle um but yeah pretty cool area so there's just a bunch of fields around here i did have a giant wheat field but uh, it kept getting trampled so i was like ah forget it um right now i'm working on up here I'm working on quite a big project so as you see the custom mountain range over there um, there's going to be another one over on this area and so this is kind of the outline for it so this is going to be huge mountain range back in here even bigger than that one and that one's not even done over there completely but as you can see kind of the farm area it, it's pretty back here I like it I like it a lot um, we'll just stay on this side of the river for now um, and so we have the meteor site over here. So this is the excavation um, area. And this is the meteor site. And that plays a huge <laughs> deal into the lore coming up in the, uh, the new season. So you have to stay tuned for that. Um, I'll go over that in a little bit, my wall system. Um, over here is the iron golem farm. <laughs> it just looks like a, like a regular farm. I'm going to do some more camoing on that um, in a little bit. Um, we'll go back here just for a second so this is the cave that runs through the mountain so it's pretty decent this is the back entrance leading into my storage system um, this goes into the nether uh, not much to tour in there back here this is my uh, I just built this so it's not completed yet but my uh, villager trading system 
<clears throat> this leads, it's a top entrance up to the first floor of the keep. And then you can run all the way through here and it pulls you out to this area. Um, so this is the back side of the keep. So pretty cool. Um, we've got <laughs> the quarry down here. I'm not going to take y'all down in it, but um, it needs updating a little bit. But this is where I get a lot of my rocks from. And then out here, which we'll tour in a little bit. Um, so this is more of the wall system. And then the national park is actually out there. So we'll tour that here in a little bit. Um, there's a lot to <laughs> a lot to look at on that. Um, but I do have walls surrounding this whole uh, this whole area, other than the places that have mountain ranges. But everything else has these walls, um, and the towers kind of guard them. So pretty cool. This is my old uh, <laughs> my old villager area. Uh, nothing too special there. Most of them have died. So <laughs> there's just a bunch of cats at this point. Um, another entrance up there to the to the keep. And then the hospital. <laughs> the hospital is kind of interesting. It's funny. So 650 Village Way. So you got your waiting room in here. All the dang paintings disappeared. A lot of, uh, I'm going to have to redo a lot of it. But you've got the different rooms. You've got a normal hospital room. You've got a room with just a bunch of beds. And the bathroom's down there. Um, they get progressively worse. You've got a room with a steel bed and a bunch of cats. And a little pot for a bathroom. And then you have this room, which is just a bunch of paintings looking at you. But that's kind of an inside joke. You'd have to watch the episode. Um, you come up here. You've got the kitchen area. Um, you've got the weight room. Gym rules. No talking, only grunting, and clean your own blood. <laughs> it's at a hardcore gym, that's for sure. Uh, you got the hot tubs over here. No peeing and no dying in the pools. And you've got the medieval uh, MRI machine. Yep, they had that. And um, the surgery room, not the nicest place. And then uh, a bunch of skeletons over here right next to the uh, hospital CEO's room. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, not the, uh, not the most friendly of places, the hospital over here. But, you know, it's, it's cool nonetheless, <laughs> I guess. Um, we'll tour the cathedral here in a second. Um, but we've got the, uh, this is kind of like the spa. So you've got these little pools out here, pretty nice. Uh, Bill's bathhouse, yeah. Got a sea pickle growing in there. So that's, this is just cold water. This is, you know, warm water over here. You can come down further, and you've got really hot water. And then you've got the showers, where so you can run down through the showers. And this is the hottest level <laughs> of hot tub. So you really got to be tough to go in that one. That is for sure. Um, so let's go on over here. Um, we'll go ahead and visit the mail room. Super cool. So like I said, everything has an address. Um, and all the addresses and who lives there are here. Um, so this is the living area. So this is the actual people. So Hank's Shipyard, Leech's Brew, like the different places, the businesses. And then there's actually some more stuff because I ran out of room. So as you can see, so the, here's the houses and this is part of the businesses and then part of the other businesses here. Yep, I had it backwards, sorry. So everything's interconnected, like I said. Um, over here you've just got you know a couple houses. We're not gonna tour all the houses on the inside but they all have interiors. Um, the Pottery Palace, um, you can just go in here and do your pottery, and this is where I store all my clay and stuff. And so there's quite a few buildings. There's a building allocated to quite a few different resources. Um, so like the weather is right over here. Um, this is just a way over to the courthouse over there. Um, we've got the garden. Um, just a really chill place to hang out. Um, good view of the river, completely custom river. Um, and the, court, the uh, courthouse, like I said, it's a relatively new build, so it's not done. Um, you come over here, this is the original stables, not much going on there. Um, the hotel, so the Skeleton Inn, this has tons of rooms. This is where I stay at a lot of times. Um, man, there's there's all kinds of rooms, and there's random, <laughs> a bunch of skeletons watching you um, up in there. And then you can 
it, it, it's really it's cool and you can go up to the very top floor and there's like a pillager <laughs> right up here some secret stuff welcome to the jungle it says my brother did a lot of these random crazy things um over here you've got kind of like a barracks area for the soldiers um guard outpost so it's nothing too special up there um we'll skip through it. Allie's bakery um right here i love this building um you know just kind of got the uh nice baking area down there and then up here you actually have the lounge where you get served at so it's just a really cool chill place i love it up here just relaxing um once again the entrance to the uh, the keep up there and then these are the last two buildings on this side so you've got the tavern um the large tavern the bm barb from skyrim so this is just the um just the area it's got like a little outdoor seating you can uh it's a it's a milk bar so we don't serve alcohol we just have milk but if you get too drunk and rowdy off of it then you get thrown in the in the brig here so for a time out until you can get you know come to your senses um just got some storage and then up here we actually have more housing and uh like i said you know everyone that lives in the here has has their own area so like you know all these apartments and stuff they've got who lives there and everything and these are actual people with businesses and so all this is in the mail room um so yeah it's it's pretty cool and lifelike and all these people have stories <laughs> lots of stories and we'll get into that um this is the actual this is the die area um the loom i guess <laughs> Dern's dies and so this is the die shop pretty cool um not much you know going on here just really colorful and um and nice looking one of my one of my other favorite rooms just to hang out in um you come around back where they keep the actual just the wool just laying around and all that and then here's another entrance to the sewers which we'll get to the sewers in a little bit but i just want to kind of tour the overworld here um for a start <clears throat> before we head over into the sewers actually you know what we'll tour the uh we'll tour the cathedral all right so we're back over here um let's go ahead and tour over at the cathedral area um <laughs> yeah a lot of a lot of really cool stuff here um, we'll go in there here in a second, but uh, let's go ahead and hop down here toward the harbor area. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool place. Um, just like a little little landing here almost. Uh, we've got Captain Al's fish hut. Of course, Captain Al lives at the BM Barb. Got this fish sitting up in there. Uh, this is just where I do my fishing at, and I just have a lot of random stuff. But it's also a nice place just to sit. Once again, terraform the river down here. Um, it's a little bit deeper in this section, so I've got kind of a mountain river coming out of there, going through the valley, and it gets into a deep river, and then it goes into the ocean eventually, and I'll show you that. Um, we've got uh, leeches brews down here, and then we've got the fishing records um, for this area, which is pretty cool. And then over here we have kind of like a uh, harbor shipping area. We can move a few things. Um, the dock manager and you can come through under this bridge and then we've got the big dock section down here and it is not complete yet but um, definitely a lot to come and you can kind of see the ocean out there even though it's a swamp but here you can see kind of the side of the cathedral and you can just get a scale of how big this actually is and it took me so many not even just hours but real life days to uh, to complete that and we'll go down there in a little bit down into the sewers but it took so much time. Um, you can also get a good view of the walls here too. Um, this just wraps over there for now. Um, the walls are to keep something out. And that's in the story. You'll have to see that. Um, they're over there too. Um, but you can really get a good glimpse of the backside. Well, not a good glimpse, but a decent glimpse of the backside of the cathedral before we head on in there. But we just have this kind of side road going through here. It's not detailed anything. I haven't done any of the, uh, the stuff to make it look good or add details to it. Um, this was all just newer stuff because a lot of times I'll get ideas in my head and then I'll just, um, I'll throw something down and then come back to it once I have it kind of fully thought out. But let's go head on in here to the cathedral. It is massive. I don't have a ton on the inside yet. 
I mean, I have the main area done, but I don't have the back areas done. So as you can see, it is huge. And we've got the seating in here um, all the way up here. I mean, it's this took a lot of time to do the inside. Um, we've got the main stand all the way up in the front. Um, some Just some statues off here to the side. Glass ceiling pointing out to the top. And you can see the night sky. Of course, it's night out, so you can't see anything. But during the day, light shines through here. And it's pretty cool. Um, and you can hop up here to the main stand. I mean, look how cool that is. That is just awesome. I love being in here. Give me gives me so much inspiration. And then you've just kind of got like the <laughs> the little people sitting on the side here as an extra view. Um, but this will be a perfect transition into another one of my uh, favorite parts of this world is the underground. Um, and we have a couple of underground factions. Um, the one under the cathedral happens to be the Red Flag, um, and they are a important faction here. Very important. They kind of run the show to some extent. And so this is their their headquarters for right now, but that will change in the upcoming uh, episodes, and you'll see that. Um, but they've just kind of got like a hollowed out cave through here, um, running underneath the cathedral. Down there is where my skeleton spawner is, and then this just goes out as like an entrance to the ocean. Um, so we'll go ahead back over here. Um, I love designing undergrounds. It is very fun. Um, this is the source from redstone. So I put lore behind everything. So this is kind of medieval setting, but they found this vein of redstone. And red, uh, the red flag is kind of responsible for all the technology in this world. And so this is kind of, um, you know, seeing <laughs> what they can do. But not all of it works. So this is a kelp farm that doesn't actually work. <laughs> but like this chicken farm, they got it correct. And so it works um, <laughs> for the moment anyways. But you can see they're kind of experimenting with that stuff. Um, then you have an entrance into the actual sewer system. So like I said, this links all the buildings or will link all the buildings at some point. And so it's, it's a pretty fairly simple design. Um, it's got, you know, just your stuff coming out of the buildings, your actual sewer inputs, um, some little walkways across, some walkways on the side, uh, some more sewer inputs, um, and then I kind of block varied with this uh, mossy stone and then the cracked stone. And so you can see it turns down here. Um, and then we'll get back into the main area of it where there's actually some more stuff. So I've got a bunch of random stuff. So here's another entrance. This is the main entrance to it up there. And right here we have a cat store down here. <laughs> so here's their food and water. As you can see, they get sewer water. I'm not a big fan of cats in this world, but... Yeah, you know, everyone's got to have a place, I guess. So here's an unfinished part of the tunnel, and that's going to head over to the um, courthouse. Uh, here's a restaurant down here. <laughs> Once again, your water that you get is from the sewer. Um, <laughs> here's the stuff that they serve. Uh, roast beast, rat king wings, um, <laughs> feline soup, moss salad, gator linguine, and of course chicken nuggets and fries, as every restaurant has. So you can see it's not the best of serving stuff down here, but we've got the old llama cooking it up anyways. Um, yeah, going down this way. Um, that's another big entrance down here. And then this is where I get a lot of my stone for the mountain projects. And this little corridor leads up to the... Uh, the keep. Um, it's not decorated or anything. I'm going to wait till I get all the way down to bedrock to start decorating. And I've got some cool ideas. And this is just kind of what one of the intersections looks like here. Um, pretty decent. And we'll continue on down through here. Then, like I said, they go pretty long ways. Um, and then we have like a little boat area. <laughs> this is just, it's cool. I mean, it's just like a, like a little hub. You can take your boats out through there. Um, unfinished area. It's going to start going out to the side. And here's the old style. So this is the stuff that my brother did. Um, and so this will, this is kind of the old style. It's got some cool lore and stuff in it. Shellac slab emporium. So you remember slack from the prison. Um, this is where he worked at before he got imprisoned. Um, <laughs> Uncle Bones underground bazaar. Little shop here. Um, Oh, yeah, and it goes into the back rooms. <laughs> Not finished yet, if you get that meme. And then here's just um, 
a lore store. So this has just some um, some lore that you guys would understand once you watch uh, the Rayor series. So I encourage you to watch that so you can understand how funny some of these actually are. And then you can go back here to another one of the factions. And so this is the League of Evil. And this is another one that my brother did. And so they've got a really cool base in here. And these are seats where they can sit and eat, which is pretty funny. <laughs> um, so... We'll go over to this area first. This is the mission area um, where they get guild missions. And um, so this is what your titles are. So your amount of points. So this is actually like a playable game mode or whatever. So the amount of points you get, you get different titles. And so you can go from, um, you know, agent right at the start all the way up to, or sorry, um, grunt right at the start all the way up to the general. And you plan large scale gang activity. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And so you'll see the people that are involved in all of that. And um, here's the rules around here. Only die in areas that your rank allows. Never abandon a contract that you take up. Uh, Lord Crab always thanks the chef. Uh, do not ask about the crab. <laughs> Have fun. And then um, just some more info on the area. Um, yeah, it's pretty. it's pretty cool. And so we'll go on this, onto the back section here. Um, this is just where they're, um, <laughs> the little restaurant, Carabas. <laughs> uh, that's what the grunt and soldier seating is in the fountain. And then you come over here just to their barracks area. Um, nothing too special. And Il Mali Hall. So this is like where the generals sit, General Roby. Um, the boss, Karaba, that's who's in charge. And then uh, Lord Shellac, King of the Slab, which he's in prison, like we saw. And then here's the actual mission board, um, which are really, they're really funny. Um, if you take a look at them. <laughs> Teach dark magic to the college first years. We've got a magic school, which we'll go to here in just a second. Photobomb one of Jark's videos. Yeah be pretty easy take over emerald hills which is the region um yeah there's a lot of um <laughs> loiter on earl's farm <laughs> so that's how you get points um which is very fun very cool concept that he had um and once again we're very heavy into lore in this world so everything kind of has its own little place in the world and meaning behind it very active world and so here's one of the here's the old entrance into the sewers and it pops up on the other side of the river um so i'll just show you the river the david vitam river <laughs> it's pretty cool it's pretty cool like i said it's a mountain stream um and so i'm gonna i'm gonna do some more linking there's a there's a stream up there and then eventually we'll have mountains over here and it'll look really cool so so let's look at a few of these buildings over here. So Brady made quite a few of them. Um, you know, just a couple of houses. Simon the Fish Guru. <laughs> it's got all the addresses. So they're nothing too um, too crazy. I'll go in a few of them. This is the blacksmith. Um, and then this is Mervyn the Merchant's House. <clears throat> the outside design of it is so cool. I really love it. Inside, nothing too much. Um... He also built a frat house over here, which I love. <laughs> it's really funny. So this is the frat house, the mystic frat house that belongs to the magic college up there, which we'll go tour it here in a second. But let's go on in mystic frat house. So <laughs> they got the magic ball here that they're looking at. Um, some item in there. Who knows? Um, you can come in here. Here's one of the beds. <laughs> it's just a big bed. And then like any frat house, it's like a maze to get around anywhere. So you've got <laughs> you've got the bathroom in here. Yeah, this is the bathroom, I think. And you have to go through the bathroom to get to someone's room. <laughs> just like a normal frat house. And then you have to go through someone's room to get to the next area. Which the next area is upstairs so you have to go through the bathroom and the room to get to the main area upstairs um and so this is the schedule for freshman hazing for it um and this is their meeting area 
pretty cool. Um, <laughs> some more bedrooms up here. Love it. And then uh, you can actually head down. So to get to the basement, you have to go to the top floor, through the bathroom, through the room, everything. So this is actually, so this is brew pong. Kind of like beer pong, but with uh, magical brews. And so they've got a tournament going on. Um, here's the tournament bracket over here. Everyone that's facing each other. And the winner was the mellowed ones. Um, and so here's everyone that... Um, that's involved in it. So the mellowed ones consist of Craig and Craig Jr. Um, and so you've got kind of every, um, I guess, not faction, but every little team here. Team Red Flag, not affiliated with them. It probably is. Noel and Lord Fist, the fifth, I think that's what that means. So here's the different uh, colors that they have and their different brews. And basically, um, if you land a pong ball in one of their the brews then you have to drink it <laughs> and whoever is or can stand the other person's brew the longest wins i guess <laughs> which is hilarious oh goodness oh that's just a random room that goes into the other side of the bathroom i forgot about that <laughs> oh gosh yeah my brother he has a very strange sense of humor but i do find it pretty funny sometimes um, so let's get back through the maze that it is this frat house back through everyone's bedroom and the bathroom and everything. If you've ever been in an actual frat house, it's, it's not far off. So then you come over to the, my kind of a uh, custom terrain project. Um, and so I built this, um, built this custom mountain right here. Um, this nice kind of pond, I'll eventually lead it to the river out there. I need to do that. And you can kind of come up and follow the stream. Um, this leads up into the Magic College. It's like a back entrance, but we'll go up the side. So the, there's a waterfall here that it kind of comes up to. And you can walk up into the actual, up into the mountains through this way. Um, you can head over so you can get kind of a good view of where the mountain stream comes from. Uh, you can go through the cave here. And once again, but I haven't finished the rest of the mountains back there, but this path will eventually go up to the top and go into some pretty cool places. You can also head up this way. Um, and we've just got like a little tent camping area back here on the back side of the college. Once again, that's how you get into the college. You can see the back side here. Um, and you can get into the mountains underneath of them. <laughs> but we're not going to do that just yet. So let's actually, let's go down and, well, we'll go across and then we'll go look at the college. So first off, let's, let's go down this path. Um, we also have a, um, there's, there's still quite a few areas that needs to be built around in here. Um, I think my brother has plans for that, but let's come up on here. And this is where we have a mine, our mine site. So here's our salt and pepper mine, Weigel's salt and pepper mine. So as you can see, um, it goes down through here where they're mining salt and pepper blocks, which is funny because like they kind of look like salt and pepper combined. That's why I said that. Pretty funny though. And then here's an actual, this is what it looks like when you're on top of one of the walls and you can get a cool view of the city. You can kind of see part of the cathedral in the background, but these walls, you know, they go all the way out through the whole city. Um, and you can go in them. So they're, uh, they're really fun. So let's actually, um, yeah, let's actually go up into the, the college here. So you can kind of see it a little bit. Um, yeah, Magic College, like Hogwarts and all that stuff. Yeah, you kind of get it. <laughs> There's also a nice little, just a shopping area. Um, the only store I'm going to show you is this one. It's a coffin store. <laughs> Crazy. Um, and we'll go in this. It's another faction. We'll go in that here in a little bit. But you head up this way to get up to the college, and you can go into the approach. Um, so you got the kind of this grand entrance. I don't know why there's a llama up there. Um, <laughs> why not? But pretty cool, pretty cool place. So we've got kind of the, the great hall in here um, with multiple floors, some cool decorations. You can go over here to the left. You can go in, obviously, Hogwarts themed right here, kind of their dining room, where you figure out your, your classes and all that with the... I need to update this because you, you, we can have floating candles now. Got the kitchen and everything. Um, that's just the back entrance over there. 
on this side um, we've got some classrooms so we got potions class over here um, pretty cool setup got a lot of stuff and you can go down and go into the actual place where they brew them um, <laughs> pretty cool area um, I really love the the classroom designs in here um, we'll go over here so here's a uh, magic history class so this is just a map of an area out in the national park which I'll show you um, and then down here is just that side entrance where you can go in through the cave and get into the college on this side we have the uh, hall of knowledge um, <laughs> aka the library and there's a secret entrance over here if you press this lever you can go outside and then this is just like a big chasm I don't know why it's there but um, it is there and okay let's go on up to the second floor We've got quite a few classes up here. So on this one, this is sponsored by the red flag. This is the um, enchanting class, so sponsored by the evil red faction, red flag faction. And they actually have, uh, well, they used to have an enchanting <laughs> set up in there. I need to put that back because I do actually have enough books to do that now, um, which is pretty funny. But of course, you know, the red flag, they have to be involved in everything. So they've got a little secret entrance here into the red flag student headquarters for those students that are trying to get involved in the red flag and here's a map of the college um, their books and then like a little loft area you can climb up to and sit and then this is also how you get on top of the the, uh, the college which is really cool so there's little secrets everywhere in this world and I'm, I haven't even shown half of them just because we don't have enough time um, just like a little closet down in there. Um, this is the slumber house. So this is where the dorms are. Um, <laughs> it's kind of packed in here. Got a lot of beds. But it's called the slumber silo over here for a good reason. Because it's it's literally just... <laughs> it's a, it's one of the towers. It's just filled with it. Like if you, if you roll around when you sleep, you do not want to be here. Because you will fall clear to your your death if you do that. <laughs> oh that's crazy so well, let's go over here this is just an area where you can look over the um the food place and we'll go up to the next floor there's quite a few floors here um another class we've got kind of a fish tank and then a winter scene with a snow golem and we have the elements class just talking about the different elemental magic um that's why they have these here <clears throat> then you go all the way around here and you go into the gym. This is where we do battle magic at. Um, you can sit over here and watch. You know, you've got all of your items. This is another way to get down. Um, and then you actually have the locker rooms over here. The guy's locker room. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can, you can guess what that is. Um, it's just very thin and terrible. And it leads right into the slumber silo. Not a good locker room. And then you've got the girls' locker room. Which is like nice and pristine. <laughs> oh goodness, hilarious. And then you can go up to the final floor. And this is where you have like the herbal magic class. So we've got every herb you can pick from. For alchemy and stuff like that and this is where you do all your alchemy and everything um pretty cool and then i guess well i guess you can go up into this tower this is supposed to be the uh the headmaster's office but i haven't built that part yet but yeah that's uh there's a tour of the uh the good old college for you so it, it's pretty cool it's it's definitely one of my uh one of my favorite okay so let's go ahead and look at the uh the last faction here and this is the slayers guild it was the first one built um my brother built it um he built a lot of things on this side so the slayers guild so pretty simple really cool design though kind of the circular pattern um <laughs> the monster killing area yeah it used to have a zombie spawner there um and then kind of the main area the guildsman's area so you go up here and you have the meeting area, which is sitting over a spider spawner, which I find hilarious. And so here's the missions for this guild. Um, <laughs> my favorite one over here is me and my wife were recently killed by spiders. 
So Gary somehow left a, a note that he was killed by spiders. So that's interesting. <laughs> and someone gigged all the frogs in the pond, which is hilarious. So you come down here and they have like a battle arena. Um, and uh, the Emerald Hills Fighting Club. Lord Fist the second, obviously a member of the uh, the Red Flag. The Lord Fists are all uh, members of the Red Flag. So pretty funny that he's also fighting in the Slayer's Guild tournament <laughs> and won it. Um, but yeah, most of the uh, lore stuff I have to get into in the actual videos. But we can um, we can come over here and go ahead and tour the the um, courthouse. So here's kind of the side. It's got a lot of seating area out here. Um, really cool. Come in here, and as you know, we have an election going on right now. Uh, Lord Fist III is actually <laughs> in Caraba, and Shellac are going for the election for the new king. Um, once again, you have to stay tuned to the episodes to see why they're electing a new king, but let's go ahead on in here. Um, this is where they're going to elect the king, but... It is beautiful. This is a, kind of a newer thing. I ran out of materials. This is all these rings will be lined with gold eventually, but yeah, it's it's a really cool it's a cool place. Um, so you got all your seating up here, um, everything. This is where the actual the judge will sit um, or the king, whoever's presiding over the meeting. You've got all the people watching. It's it's really fun, and it, I still have to do all the details in here. Like I said, it's a relatively new build. Um, most of the details are done, and <laughs> I do pretty quickly after I finish a build. But this one, it's it's going to take a while. So there's plenty of room up here to to do things. Um, I'm going to put a prison down below. Um, it'll be cool. So we'll hop out of the side entrance here, and same thing on this side. You've got kind of all these chairs and seating areas. Um, Another view of the river going into the bigger river down there. Uh, this is just another house down here, the fisherman's house. Um, he's just got his own little dock here, and this is where I keep a lot of my actual fishing supplies. So I've got some pretty good stuff over there. Um, let's go ahead back in this way. Um, um, yeah, we'll, t we'll skip that bridge for a second. So you can see the mountains over on this side. There's a side entrance that goes around the um, the courthouse on that side. And then over here was another mine. So we've got Weigel's Foundry. Weigel owns all the mining around in this area. So we've kind of got the mine set up. The carts go underground there. And then you'll actually find it is a slime factory. So they are producing slime or mining slime out here. This is where you get the slime from. You can see all these contraptions that they have made up to, to extract it um, in the uh, cart, mine carts that go down through here. Once again, um, newer build. All the stuff on this side are kind of newer, and so uh, quite a bit to do on that, but still, it's a, it's a cool concept. You can head out around here, and um, this is kind of how you get on to the exterior wall here. Um, you can just go right up here and you can view onto the other side of the wall and it goes quite a ways through there. You can also see the back of the mountains. Still working on that. But the wall, you can go down through it. Pretty cool there. Um, and this is the extent of the terraforming that I've done on the river. Um, so I haven't done it out there yet, but right through here I have. Um, most of the stuff is not is not decorated or anything. I've not done anything with this. This is going to remain a forest, um, but I might put custom trees in here next so let's go ahead and hop over to yeah we, we, so we came across the bridge basically um and we'll go over to the logging area um so pretty cool We've got some log carts out here just some logs stationed um links lumber yard and the reason there's blood here is because this is a mystery that we did um and you'll have to go check that out um had to do a frogs and the pond and all that stuff a mystery that was solved so you have to see how kind of how that went and so here you get a really good view of the cathedral and a pretty good view of the uh the castle up there um i like this area a lot and there's a lot of fun stuff that i kind of have planned with it and then you can come across this bridge it's relatively new also and get a good view of the ocean and the end of the walls on that side um 
And so now, uh, let's see, I think we should head on out to the um, National Park. So let's go ahead and take the road like we would uh, we'd be going out there anyways. So in case you, I, I don't know if I told you, but um, the name of this world is called Catalogue Erwin. And this region is the Emerald R Hills region, this area where the actual city is. Um, it's called the Emerald, Emerald Hills region. And so there's multiple different regions and areas outside of here. I'm just going to show you all um, a couple of them today, you know, just because I've only got so much time here. I don't want to have you all sitting here for two hours, but I will show them in the upcoming episodes for sure. Uh, so you can head on out here through this really cool kind of like gravel biome area out to this outer gate that's heading into the, uh, the National Park. So Big Valley National Park is what it's called. And you can head all the way out through here. And this road, I, I like to make paths for everything. I have elytras, but I love the immersion of the world. Normally I'll take a horse out through here, but I'll walk with you all today just to kind of show you around some of the area. But I love immersion. And I love just the fact of like natural paths connecting places. Um, so the first site here at the National Park is actually our archaeological dig site. Um, let's see, here's a map of it. Um, you can come down here, and <laughs> we found quite a big skeleton here. <laughs> big old polar bear skeleton down in this ravine. Um, so pretty funny. But this area, it's, it's pretty lore heavy. And uh, yeah, we'll just kind of follow this path all the way out through here. Um, it goes, it goes a long way <laughs> before we get to anything. All right, and the first thing we kind of come to out here in the National Park is um, the gateway to the native lands. And so this is out in the forest quite a ways and an area where you can stable your horses, kind of like a guard tower. But you are not allowed to take horses beyond this point because uh, you are entering into the native lands and they don't want that. And so, once you get out through here, you'll see um, you'll see a look of the native people of this this region. Once you uh, top this hill, yeah, there it is. And so this was actually the map of this was in the Magic College. I don't know. Yeah, you you all saw that the map of this uh this temple out here and so this is probably yeah this is the only thing that i'll show you out in the national park for now um the rest of the stuff you'll have to uh you'll have to kind of watch because it gets you'll have to watch in the episodes because it gets pretty far out through here um but we'll look at the uh we'll look at the temple for now i got the sheep sheepy sheepy but out on this side i've kind of got a village um for the native people and uh, we do some trading and stuff. We've got some cool stuff set out there. So let's go ahead and hop up here. Um, and yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, the sunrise is really cool through here. Like I said, you, you go out through there. <laughs> There's some interesting stuff. And you can actually hop down through this and go into the uh, gold reserve. <laughs> pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and um, hop back to the main area. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close it out here. Um, I just want to say thank you to all of you that um, watched this far. Um, and I would really love it if you guys could like the video and subscribe. Um, I plan on doing so, so much more to this world coming up in uh, the next couple couple of episodes. And then kind of there for, for there on. I mean, this is the only world that I play on, and I plan on uh, never really stopping. So... I would really love it if you all could uh, come along for the ride and just kind of see where this world ends up. Um, I'd love any input that you have in the comments or anything you have to say. Um, I would really appreciate it. So yeah, thank you again for watching.